The World Health Organization states that there is an epidemic of type 2 diabetes occurring around the world. The prevalence of diabetes has increased 600% in the United States since 1958. Diabetes cases will rise 35% to at least 17.5 million in the next 10 years. Diabetes magnifies the risk of cardiovascular disease and the death rate. Not only does diabetes increase the risk of heart disease two to four times, but it can also lead to blindness, kidney failure, and even amputations because of the destruction of small arteries. What exactly is type 2 diabetes? Researchers recently discovered that the traditional beliefs concerning what caused the disease were partially unfounded. Type 2 diabetes used to be thought of as only a disorder of the pancreas and its ability to make insulin. Insulin helps sugar in our bloodstream get into our cells. I like to think of it as a key that opens the door to the cell. Without insulin, sugar cannot enter the cells and the level of sugar in the bloodstream rises to levels that can cause health problems or even be dangerous. In the analogy of the key mentioned earlier, the body is making adequate insulin for the keys to the door. The problem lies with the lock in the door, otherwise known as the insulin receptor. When the lock in the door doesn't work well, the body responds by making more insulin, and this condition is referred to as insulin resistance. Insulin resistance precedes type 2 diabetes and leads to it. After a person becomes insulin resistant, they may develop health problems, some of which are an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, triglyceride levels rise, the HDL or good cholesterol decreases, small dense LDL or bad cholesterol increases, blood pressure increases, and the body increases its ability to clot, which all may increase the risk of heart disease, increased abdominal circumference, elevated homocysteine levels, and perhaps several cancers. There are many things that we can do to reduce insulin resistance. The lifestyle changes that we can make are reduce high saturated trans and omega-6 fats in our diet, reduce simple sugars, reduce foods with high glycemic index, exercise with the clearance of a doctor, reduce obesity, reduce your weight to a natural normal range, reduce smoking as much as possible or preferably stop, increase omega-3 in the diet or by supplementation, adequate chromium intake, eat more whole grains, decrease C-reactive protein and consider antioxidant consumption or consider a daily aspirin under your doctor's supervision. Increase dietary fiber, increase monounsaturated fats in the diet, consider becoming a vegetarian, and take adequate calcium. Consume low-fat dairy products, adequate magnesium, consider moderate coffee consumption, reduce high fructose corn syrup, and seek your doctor's advice and help, especially if the above recommendations don't reduce your resistance. Insulin resistance increases obesity, and unless these risk factors are addressed, you will have problems losing weight. The Trim Body System. Begin. Be fit. And believe.